Hey Shug, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're doing the first half of October reading for Gemini. Alright, hope you guys are doing well. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Alright, so looking at my Gemini's, doing a five card spread. Um, looking at the challenge for the month, the good, the bad, the advice from spirit, and a potential outcome. Okay, for Gemini's. And one more time for Gemini's. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Overall energy, the Knave of Wands. Okay, it's like the Page of Wands. All right. With the knave of coins right behind that. So it's a communication. Communication this month. Okay. First half of the month. Communication about passion. Okay. About stability. Okay. So that's the. Your challenge. The three of cups. Okay. Coming together. Celebration. Maybe spending time with friends. Okay. The good for the month. Or the first half of the month. Is the ace of swords. Clarity truth spill it okay the child uh, the negative is the chariot oh wow movement forward let's see what's going on the advice from spirit five coins leave it out in the code okay and the potential outcome seven of swords okay someone else just had the seven of swords as their potential outcome who was that you have sag you could be dealing for sag Okay, so here we go. For Gemini in the first half of October. For Gemini in the first half of October. For Gemini. Okay, I'm also going to pull a Wisdom of the Oracle card as the advice at the end. So why is the Knave of Wands here? Some communication, communication about passion. What am I most passionate about? Okay, why is this Knave of Wands here for Gemini in the first half of October? Why is this Knave of Wands here? Why is the Knave of Wands here? The Ace of Pentacles, okay? Four Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So somebody might come to you um, very unexpectedly, okay, and communicate um, that they want to start... Um, a solid beginning with you, okay, with this Ace of Pentacles. It's like I'm going to offer you this big, you know, gold coin, okay? Um, something serious, okay? I might communicate that with you. Real, real, just, you know, off the, out of the blue, you know, type energy. This could have been someone that was holding back from you before, okay? Let's clarify this Knave of Wands. What else is happening here with this Knave of Wands overall energy? We got an offer here, um, Gemini. Like, where did this come from? You know, okay. So the King of Swords, yeah. With the Empress on the bottom of the deck, okay. This person was at one point closed off, okay. Um, maybe you couldn't un see what they were thinking. What do you want to do here? Um, where there are we going? This person could have also cut you off, ghosted you, okay. Um, not been saying much at all, okay. Now with the Empress on the bottom of the deck here, it's like now they want to grow some things. They're coming out of Hermit mode. Now they want to, you know, move forward. They want to see what this could be, you know. They want to grow and progress with you, right? They want to uh, move this thing forward, okay? Yeah, with the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, could have been definitely um, an earth sign you've been waiting on, okay? Okay, maybe they're starting to see um, how things can move forward in the future, okay? So that's why the Knave of Wands is here as your overall energy. Let's clarify this Three of Cups as the um, challenge, okay? There's the Three of Cups as the challenge coming together as a challenge here. Why? Why is this here? The Three of Cups for Gemini, first half of October. Why is coming together the challenge for Gemini in the first half? 
okay so confusion we have the queen of wands and the six of swords okay with um the seven of cups on the bottom of the deck okay um there could be someone that this earth sign needs to move on from okay needs to leave needs to separate from with three of cups being the overall energy and this being the challenge okay could be necessary for this person to move on from them all right the hermit all right and the knight of cups yeah and to not offer to them anymore okay to remove their offer to take a step back from them okay so this is the challenge okay it would be necessary for that person to um withdraw themselves okay from this queen of wands energy okay it seems like it's a third party energy here to move away from that okay so that would be the challenge here uh clarify the ace of swords okay ace of swords the clarity this is the benefit this is the positive okay Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck again. Okay. It's a lot of cards here. Yeah. Alright. So, get the Page of Swords. Alright. The Ten of Swords. I feel like someone... Um, someone's talking. Okay. So, what's happening is... Um, the good thing that's happening here is that you're getting clarity on something that was um, devastating. Okay. To you. Okay. Something that really hurt you. Um, you may have felt betrayed by this person. All right. Um, some communication may be happening um, between you two. Um, you might be talking um, here in the first half of the month about that deception, about that um, trying time. Okay. And that communication, that conversation is bringing peace. Okay. It's bringing harmony. It's bringing this back together. It's bringing y'all back to an an energy of peace and harmony okay um and that will um help you like move forward okay figure out like your next move figure out how to move forward okay that will help you you know get into an energy of is this something that i want to even move forward with okay clarifying the chariot why is the chariot here as the child as the negative why is the chariot here as the negative energy for the first half of October for Gemini. Why is the chariot here as the negative energy for the first half of October? Okay, something to revisit. Why is the chariot here as the negative? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. Okay, so, um, with moving forward, this being a negative energy, it may be something that you need to take time to do, or it's not time to do this, okay, to, to reconcile, to come back together. It's like it's like it's more to the story with the seven of swords behind that six of cups. There's more to this that you need to know, okay? So um, I don't think that if, you know, if an offer is made, it might not be time to move forward with that just yet, okay? Clarify the chariot. Okay. Justice. Okay. And the six of cups. Um, the six of cups, again, I feel like there is something that needs to be handled. Um, maybe in a legal system. Um, maybe legally, you know, like something needs to be done first before this comes back together with the six of cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, before this comes together. Um, clarify this trade again, please, for Gemini in the first half of October. Okay. Clarify. Okay. Eight of Wands. Okay. The Death card came out. So the Eight of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, it's like, it's, it's as if it's saying that you shouldn't move forward um, with this offer until you've received communication that something's over. Okay? Until... Um, 
until you receive that communication. You know, the Queen of Swords back there. That something has been cut out. That something is over. I feel like with this Three of Cups, someone needs to move away from a Queen of Wands. Okay? And so, even though an offer is made, you have clarity on, you know, and of, of like this Ten of Swords issue um, that you guys may have had. Um, moving forward with the offer isn't necessarily the right thing to do right now um, until something is handled and completely put to rest. Okay? <laughs> Clarify this five of coins as the advice from spirit. Clarify this five of coins as the advice from spirit. For Gemini in the first half of October. Why is the five of coins here? Okay. Six of cups on the bottom of the deck again. Okay, you have the tower, the five of wands, and the hierophant. Okay. So something something's gonna happen here. Alright. Some type of shakeup's gonna happen here with this person from the past. Okay, this energy from the past. All right, um, with all this drama, okay, about a commitment, all right, so um, you might need to just pull yourself, you know, take a step back from this situation, the five of coins, um, there's a shake up here, there's a shake up here because there's a lot of people involved in this commitment, okay, um, this could be a commitment that this person already has, where there's a lot of people involved, there's a lot of drama there there's a lot of situation happening there okay you might need to pull yourself back from that energy okay let's get another one on this five of coins just for um, more clarity another for this five of coins for gemini in the first half of october it's like yeah this offer is made but until this person like completely deads this situation this three of cups situation might not be best for you okay clarify this five of coins Clarify this five of coins again, please, for Gemini in the first half of October. Okay. The seven of wands, the fool, and the um, nine of swords. I want to say the right thing, but it's almost as if it's saying, you know, like, like, as if it's like you're blocking, jumping ahead. So, like, don't just jump forward, okay? You see, like, that seven of wands is almost like they're keeping a fool from being a fool, okay? Like, if you do, it might cause, like, more stress, more turmoil for you, okay? With the magician on the bottom of the deck... This may be something that you manifested, but I feel like Spirit is just saying, like, take a break, like, take a step back from this. I don't think that um, you should quite move forward with this yet until something is completely done. Okay. Clarify this Seven of Swords as the potential outcome for Gemini in the first half of October. Okay. All right, we got Judgment, the Ace of Swords, um, okay, <laughs> okay, it's a lot, all right, let me take them, it's the Sun, the Lovers, the Five of Cups, and the Page of Wands, okay, the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck, so that's your energy, Gemini, right, okay. So, in the potential outcome, mm 
Okay. So the potential outcome, a final decision will be made, right? A final decision will be made. Um, and it will be it will be made based on truth and clarity. Okay, you'll know exactly what you need to do, what decision to make. All right. But the decision you do make is going to make you very happy. Okay. The decision you do make is going to make you very happy. However, it's going to leave someone else feeling defeat or feeling sad. Okay. It's going to leave someone else um, feeling very disappointed. Okay. It's going to require someone else to communicate. Um, it's going to require someone to communicate something to someone else is going to leave them very disappointed. All right. With this devil energy back here it could be done for Capricorn. I do feel like with the six of cups right there, I do feel like that this person from the past like once they completely dead that situation that they're moving away from is then that's when you'll gain the clarity to like make this final decision to like move forward in this connection but when that does happen it's going to leave someone else feeling very disappointed okay so understand you do have an offer here but there's drama attached okay it will not be easy <laughs> like there is bs attached okay <laughs> so let's get um i feel like this is an offer you've been waiting for Gemini. but just know like there's some crap here okay it's some it's some drama attached okay all right for gemini get some advice here for gemini For the first half of October for Gemini. Advice for Gemini, first half of October. Okay, you get chop wood. Okay. And TikTok on the bottom of the deck. So chop wood has a number 42, which reduces to a six. Which reduces to balance. I mean, which means balance. <laughs> okay, so 42. I think someone's meeting you halfway here. All right? Meeting you halfway. Seeing what they need to do in order to meet you halfway. This is what's good. This is good stuff. All right, 42. Okay. All right, it says, being grounded in everyday experience humility okay it says nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day okay let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won passionate or even obviously meaningful relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are at center of awareness that is perfect now Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple. Just be present, okay? Funny how it takes work to just be. All is well, really. Okay, so you don't have to rush into this. Go one step at a time. Okay, um, TikTok, the number on that card is 30, which reduces to a three. So it's time to build. However, someone else has to remove a third party. Okay, someone has to remove a third party here. Um, I think, and that's where the drama is going to come from here. This tower moment. Um, someone's going to be left out in the cold. Okay, um, you might need to leave someone out in the cold. Okay, Gemini. So apply how it fits. Um, that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope it helps. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I miss you guys already. You about to have some drama. Bye-bye. <laughs>